Breaking news, an Egypt Air flight heading from Paris to Cairo disappeared overnight. 66 people on board had vanished from radar over the Mediterranean after it entered Egyptian airspace. You're looking live at the airport in Cairo where that plane was headed. Passengers' families are gathering there. And here's what we know right now. The jet is an Airbus A320 with 56 passengers, 10 crew members on board. The plane departed Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris at 11.09 p.m. local time. Officials lost contact with the plane as it was over water three hours, 40 minutes into that flight. French president just spoke, confirming the plane was damaged and lost. We have full team coverage this morning. We're live in Paris and Cairo. And we begin with our aviation correspondent, David Curley in Washington. Good morning, David. Morning, George. At this hour, an air and sea search is underway for the wreckage, but already there are several clues about this crash and whether it was an accident or an act of terrorism. The Airbus A320 with 66 people on board, including 10 crew, was on a late night flight to Cairo, leaving Charles de Gaulle Airport at 11.09 local time. With only 20 minutes left in the four hour flight, the pilot speaks to air traffic control, saying all is fine. Just three minutes later, the jet disappears from radar over the Mediterranean northwest of Cairo. The jet had been in Egyptian airspace for 10 minutes and was at an altitude of 37,000 feet. Egypt Air is reporting receiving an emergency signal, possibly from one of the plane's emergency transmitters, which are activated by water. Grief-stricken family members rushed to both airports, hoping to get more information. According to Egypt Air, the pilot had more than 6,000 hours of flying time on the Airbus 320. His co-pilot, more than 2,000 hours. Monsieur le Premier Ministre. Egypt, Greece and France are coordinating search Madame, efforts uh, now monsieur. in the daylight hours. Marinetraffic.com showing five freighters scrambling to what could be the crash zone. Among the 10 crew members, three were reportedly security officials, similar to U.S. Air Marshals, which France's transport minister calls usual practice. So here's what we know at this point. This jet was in Egyptian airspace at cruising altitude when it drops off radar with no distress call from the pilot. That suggests something sudden. And don't forget, there were three air marshals on this flight. Many questions still this morning, but it appears officials do have a good idea where this wreckage is. And it, the wreckage and the black boxes, will likely reveal whether this was an accident or an act of terrorism. Robin? All right, David, thank you.